Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I'm going to do some rock cutting. I actually have a new saw. Let's take a quick look. So I just got this and the reason I got it is because somebody was selling it for really cheap and it's mostly for cutting tile and stuff and I think it'll do a good job with certain things but probably not with others. So it cuts maybe a little bit higher than my current saw but I can see I can already see some problems the way it's set up that I'll probably run into but I do want to try it out I've got a lot of um, kind of more blocky ones that are like the Wonderstone especially the Salina Wonderstone that I think will work really well on this so let's cut into it and see what we got okay after cutting several of these and washing the surface off so we can see things better um, I, I kind of ran into some things I thought if I try to cut them too thin they'll shatter because of this large gap here and the shelf here because it has to hold the rock here because I have to grab this and pull it back with one hand so I can only hold one side of the rock so I have to cut them thicker now if I cut them thicker like this then they turn out just fine if it's a thick slab so this isn't good for cutting small slabs but it does do a quick job like it it cuts through these pretty quick so it it works for cutting things if I don't mind big thick slabs of things and it does a pretty decent job it's only when it gets to the very end it usually leaves a little bit of a a lip because as you get to the very end of it it kind of tweaks itself a little bit as it finishes the cut so I'm gonna have to go and smooth off the, the end of most of them but other than that, the saw is pretty cool, so it, it does work for some things. Okay, so I'm trying something a little different here. I'm going to shoot inside because it's windy outside today, and I know the wind really affects the mic. And I don't quite have the um, stuff yet for uh, for mitigating wind on a microphone, so I'm, I'm planning to get that soon. But I want to just see how well it works in the shed, just to see if it shows up all right. So here's the first one. So this, because it was thin and long, it, it did break. So long, thin ones are not good for <laughs> this saw. Interesting. Here's the other side that broke. Okay, interesting. See, it's some of that red agate from the Levan area, but this one turned out to be mostly calcite. Here's some uh, copper ore that I got at, I think, Eureka a long time ago, years ago. And there it is. I do like the green, green malachite. Very cool. Here's one of those agatized barite specimens from the Cisco Yellow Cat, Yellow Cat area. Okay. Yeah, it is kind of dark still in here, so... But I think things are showing up well enough, you can pretty much see what's going on in them. You can see the reflection of the camera. <laughs> cool. Here's some more of that Levan black agate. So this one was kind of a nice webbing of it. Pretty cool. So here's that Wonderstone I did multiple cuts on, but they were too thin, so they just kept breaking. So good learning experience with this new saw. Can't do thin cuts. But we can look at some of the pieces of the, uh, the Wonderstone and see how it turned out. Thankfully, this isn't the greatest Wonderstone. So, so that's all right. Anyway, that's what that one looked like. So here's some of the uh, Jasper stuff from the San Rafael Swell. And yeah, one of the good things about this saw is that you can cut multiple slices pretty quick. But unfortunately, this piece was fractured heavily throughout the piece. So you can just see those breaks all over. And this is no fault of the saw. This is, this is the way the material just was. Still pretty cool. And here's some Salina Wonderstone. So if I don't mind doing thicker pieces, the saw does cut the Wonderstone quite nicely. 
So that is one thing the saw is good for. And of course, Salina Wonderstone does not, I mean, uh, Vernon Wonderstone <laughs> does not disappoint. Very nice pieces. And the last one for today is some good old Salina Wonderstone. Now this is what it's really good for, something blocky like this, you cut multiple slabs out of it, and this is how they turn out. This, this is a really cool one. Very neat stuff. Just go through all of it. I love being able to just see how the pattern changes going through the material. And there you have it. Those look pretty neat. Um, that's my first time cutting with that saw and it definitely has its uh, good and bad. So I'll use it for things that it's good at doing, otherwise I'll use the other saw. <laughs> also I want to kind of briefly talk about something important that has come up. So most of you know I've gone through quite an ordeal that earlier this year with a medical condition that really put me down for several months, put me out of work, ended up with surgery that was supposed to fix it. and it did, but recently, over the past about week and a half, the uh, the things that that I was experiencing beforehand are coming back, and not as bad as they were before, but bad enough that it affects my ability to work, affects my ability to sleep at night, affects everything. So I met with a physician's assistant here. He seems to really think that the stitches didn't hold, or something else kind of broken in internally that should have held with the surgery but didn't and he thinks there's a good chance we might have to go in and get those fixed. So, not sure what happened. It could have been during the move. I might have overdid it during the move or just something else happened. Regardless, I'm gonna have to do uh, some testing here in the next couple weeks and then hopefully figure out what happened. And if they do, there's a good chance that they can uh, go in and fix it if it requires surgery. And if it does, I'm gonna have to go through surgery again and then recover again but it shouldn't be as bad as the first time. Fingers crossed. So looks like this ordeal isn't quite over yet, but hopefully, hopefully soon. I'm just giving you that heads up because now moving forward throughout the summer, I'm gonna still try and rock hound as my health permits, but I may go a week or two or you know, every now and then there might be times when I'm just not well enough to go out and rock hound and I might have to just polish stuff or cut stuff or something like that anyway thank you everyone for all that you all the support you give and the love that you've sent and the wonderful comments you've left me particularly about the health condition i've been through and just everything else so thank you so much for that and until next time remember there is treasure everywhere <laughs>